gentlemen. First of all, I would like to pay my highest respect to the C uh, to the CEO of the entity group, educators, teachers, and everybody here who is participating in this event right now. Hello, everybody. My name is Tysi Diana, and I'm the third speaker of the preposition side. And I will be raising my last point and also give a summary of what both my teammates just mentioned. So before I start, I would like to clear some misconceptions that the opposition side had just mentioned. So actually, factory in Cambodia are mostly uh, sweatshops. It's it's when manual workers are employed at very low wages for long, for long, for long hour and under poor condi uh, con condition like toxic chemical. Their salary may be consist but also permanent. Factory money is more reliable, but the moment you start work, th they will never raise your salary unless you unless you work overtime. So now, after being said, let's move to my point. Allow me to move back to my point, for I believe that everybody knows how agriculture is important to the international trade, because raw, raw materials from agriculture make up a huge portion of what traded internationally. Our country mainly export agriculture products, including rice, cassava, maize, pepper, fresh mango, cashew nuts, raw palm oil, and other crops as well. And according to the Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries, Mr. Vesa Khan, our country exported $2.09 billion worth of agriculture products to the international market during the first quarter of 2021. And also speaking of trade, developing countries like ours to get most of our income from agriculture, pro uh, from agriculture exports. And our country economy would definitely take a huge hit if all exports suddenly stops. So that's when agriculture play a really important part in our country economy. Now, after raising my point, let me give you a rep recapitulation of what both my lovely teammate has just mentioned. So, according to Zipgut, the first point is about agriculture playing an important part in our country economy, food and income security. Agriculture play a really critical, critical role in transforming economy to reach the goal, along with achieving other essential development goals like ensuring food security and improving nutrition. Agriculture is also the central uh, central poverty reduction and hunger irrigation. And, and uh, agriculture is also a main source of food and raw material. And those food and raw material are so important in production that the economic life heavily rely, economic of a country, life strongly depends on how much it possesses. And as Sigge has stated that, Angkor Wat was the center of agriculture. While Khmer society relied heavily on farming and developed sophisticated methods to grow crops. So that means agriculture was the backbone of our society back then. And Cambodia should have, would have been nothing without agriculture. Now let's move on to our next point, which was mentioned by Kitan. It's about animal husbandry, which is a branch of agriculture. Of agriculture. Well, animal husbandry is a proper management of animal by providing proper food, shelter, and protection against diseases to the mostly animal. It includes day-to-day care, uh, selective breeding, and raising of livestock. It also helps in developing high-yielding breeds of animal by crossbreeding, and these increase the production of various food productions such as milk, eggs, and meat. It also provides employment to numbers of farmers and thereby increase their living standards as well. And there's a quote and there's a quote by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which goes, investment in agriculture are the best weapons against hunger and poverty, and they've made life better for billions of people. And not only it provides employment and reduce poverty, but it also involves the proper disposal of animal waste and promote a healthy environment. So all in all, agriculture is one of the most important sector of our country economy. And Cambodia, not to mention that, Cambodia is also blessed with an abundance of natural resources, including land and water, favorable con climate conditions, geogra and geographic position, which represent potential comparative and advantages for increased agricultural productivity and livelihood as well. And so Cambodia should largely focus on agriculture economy rather than factory type work employment. And now let me tell you an example that illustrates what I've been talking about. I believe that everybody here knows China, a big agricultural country endowed with rich tradition of intensive cultivation as well as a huge rural population. I believe that everybody knows that Chinese, the Chinese government has always placed high priority on the development of agriculture. While Chinese, China grain production is not only important for China, but also an important stabilizer for the stability of the world grain production.
China has also had remarkable success in developing its agriculture sector since the 1978 when their government decided to, decided to largely focus on it. And that would be all for my speech. Thank you. Okay, so yes, thank you so much, um, Diana, for your speech. And now I would like 